Hi Scorpio, welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you are returning. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Let's hop right into your reading. We're going to get all of your cards out and then clarify each of those for you here, Scorpio. Okay. Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you now asking for the most highest divine messages on behalf of Scorpio. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is currently outside of their current paradigm. We thank you for these messages for their highest good and the highest good of all of those that are involved. All right, Scorpio, let's go. We have the Page of Cups reversed. <clears throat> We have the Queen of Cups reversed, the Queen of Wands, okay, I see you come at, coming through with the queen, of, the queen energy, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the Temperance reversed, <clears throat> excuse me, and the Five of Swords. All right, so let's feel into this energy here, and then we'll get into each card and clarify those for you here, Scorpio. All right, so we have one major arcana that is coming in reverse. So I feel like you guys are sort of working on, um, you could be working this month on your mind, body, and spirit, getting those in alignment and getting those in balance, because some of you may be feeling a bit out of sorts in some sort of way. And I feel like you are feeling this internally, and for some of you, this may be a new energy that you're feeling or this is something that you have been working on over the months as you have been doing, making many transitions with relationships and maybe career and your finances, and maybe some of you even moving, like relocating at some at some point during this year in 2024. So make sure that you are in a place where you're not overindulging in things. You're finding some moderation because the temperance is all about moderation. So make sure that you are remaining in that place because because she is in reverse, this is saying that there could be some overindulgence um, that could be coming up for you, some addictions maybe is, as well. But this lets me know that there can be a little bit of an imbalance going on in some area of your life, okay? Uh, let's see. What, let's see what else is coming up here. I'm, I'm feeling just, I'm feeling transitions. I'm feeling a lot of things that are going on for you that, um, that are, are internal. There could be... Uh, I'm hearing moves. Some some of you are making moves. I don't, you're making money moves. You're making a move. Like I said, relocating is definitely coming up as well. But it does feel like an energy of you focusing on yourself here. And there's nothing wrong with that, um, Scorpio. Just make sure, again, you're doing things in moderation. Your overall energy here uh, for the month of July is the Page of Cups that is coming out reversed. All right? So this is your energy here. And so some of you could be, you know, dealing with someone. You could be, this, like I said, this could just be your energy. This could be happening for someone around you as well. Keep in mind it's as general so it won't resonate with everyone out there. But I don't know if some of you are having unrealistic rec uh, expectations of something, okay? That energy is coming up, this impulsive energy that, and this it's like a, there feels like a little bit of a disconnect that's coming up, like a lack of, of some sorts, okay? And, and I don't know if this is the reason why some of you may be thinking of moving elsewhere, like something isn't working out for you or something. We have a star coming out. And so you're thinking of, you know, making a change. Just make sure that you're not running away from any issues. You're learning your lessons where you are. Um, but there is a little bit of a, an, an emotional instability that is coming in. So I'm, I'm feeling some of you are restless. That's what I'm hearing. Um, some news could be coming in that could be good, bad, or indifferent, but the Page of Cups in reverse says that there could be bad news coming in. Um, I don't want to focus too much on bad news, but there could be some sort of news that could be coming in, and I'm not sure how that's going to show up. We have the Star and the Five of Pentacles. This could be around your money as well. This could be around a career for some of you. Some of you who may be in a spotlight, there may be some sort of change, some sort of shifts, a loss or something. But at the end of the day, and I, I do feel like some of you are in this position where you're feeling like you're in poverty in some sort of way. And that could be material wise or spiritually, like you, there's a helplessness energy that is coming up through some hardships that you may have just faced. Could be financial difficulties, um, 
again lost some of you are even um, your health is is not where it should be so some of you are feeling sick could be feeling sick during this during this month and moving forward because maybe you're overindulging in something okay and your body is trying to tell you we need to find some balance and some moderation here okay I do feel like whatever this is is temporary and you will be resilient within this so make sure that you are in the place of having hope here Scorpio and focusing on your mental health and finding that balance balance seems key through um, the month of July for most of the signs I've already done I'm already halfway through the Zodiac. You're the seventh reading I'm doing. And so far, everybody's reading has, is talking about balance, finding balance and doing things in moderation. So not so much moderation, but finding balance. But balance also to me, for you, means moderation, okay? Because you may be heavy on doing, uh, investing time and energy into something and then for neglecting something else that could be coming up for you, okay? So again, I feel like some of you are a re, um, resistant. I'm feeling a resistance coming up when it comes to taking care of yourself or your spiritual body, mind, body, and spirit. There's messages that are given to you or maybe even downloaded for you that you may not be hearing or listening to or even want to listen to because you want to do things your way. You're a water sign. You're very empathic. So you're also very, very intuitive as well, just like Pisces and um, Cancer. So this is a time for you to get into a space of healing and renewing. And I feel like some of you are renewing and healing from something that you have just went through. Or this could be ancestral trauma that you're going through right now and you're trying to sift through those energies as well. Be kind and generous to yourself, okay, so that you can get in a place of contentment. Um. The star card here is all about balance, okay, because the number 17 breaks down to an 8. The number 8 is, is connected to manifestations, balance, wealth, and prosperity. And I feel like some of you are focusing on doing that, but you may be forcing something to happen, trying to make something happen that may not be ready to happen just yet. It feels like there could be a missing piece to something, and that missing piece could be you taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit. Okay, some of you, it's going to be all three. Some of you, it's your spiritual health. Some of you, it's, you know, checking in with your mind, your mental health, and some of you, it's taking care of your body. Okay, so focus on that. Ask yourself what it is that you need to focus on during this month so that you can get in alignment with what is meant for you. Okay, because I do feel this very, um, um, strong energy with loss and even you feeling cold, cold hearted towards someone or just in general because of the things that has, has happened to you. It feels like you could be chipping at something, chipping at yourself, chipping or, or even snapping, snapping at someone else um, because of the things that you currently are experience, experiencing. So make sure that you're getting yourself in alignment and into uh, and and in alignment. That's all I'm going to say. Getting yourself in alignment um, is very important during this month. So that is your focus for this month, your overall energy of really just getting um, getting yourself in alignment, finding some balance, doing things in moderation, taking care of your mind, body, and spirit is most important for you. And the things will start to begin to shift, but some of you may be at the beginning phases of taking care of your health, okay, mental, physical, um, and spiritual health. So this could seem like a, lo a long road for, for you. But just keep in mind, moderation, be gentle, allow yourself to heal. And if you need to find a facilitator to help you through that, by all means, do what you need to do to get into alignment, okay. In your obstacle challenge position, we have the Queen of Cups, Pisces energy here. Um, so... What's coming up for some of you, you may be feeling a sense of depression that could be coming up. This emotional exhaustion is really, really key during this month because we just talked about your mental health, that which is very, very important. So whatever it is that you have just recently experienced or you're currently going through, I feel like it's sort of like a transition into the month of July as well. It feels or it could be a residual energy of that emotional exhaustion of everything that you just went through. You may find your moods may be up and down, okay, and that could be a challenge for some of you where you're not feeling like yourself, okay, and make sure you're not in the, you're not 
emotionally manipulating yourself or other people, self-sabotaging, um, lower vibrations like jealousy, but I do feel like this sort of heaviness. Moodiness is definitely a, a big factor during this month as well. So you're going to be seeing a shift in your moods as you're exhausted or in as you are healing. So things are going to be changing. Be gentle with yourself is most important. Some of you may be feeling a sense of withdrawal. And I feel like that may be a lot for you emotionally because I feel like you're just coming off of a high Scorpio for some of you, not all of you. And you're like, well, why am I in this place now? And it, it seems like it's easy for you to fall into a depressive state. I'm also hearing some of you are not even talking about it with, with, with anyone. This would be a good time to get the professional help that you need if you are suffering in any sort of way, okay? So there may there is some blockages that may come up for you. And I do feel like it's for some of you, it's you struggle a little bit more with this energy because you haven't felt this energy in a little bit. You have, you know, some of you have been in a good space most recently. And so for this to be overcoming you now, it feels uncomfortable. And I feel like it may make you isolate yourself in, a, in some sort of way. Let's see what else is coming up. So we have the... Um, we have the Six of Wands reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. Okay, so let's see what this energy is all about for you here, Scorpio. Clarifying this Queen of Wands. So some of you are <laughs> used to, you know, manifesting, getting things done, and, you know, you sort of are in the driver's seat when it comes to how things play out in your life. And that you you are seeing and you have seen moments of temporary success, but it feels like nothing is really sticking with you. So I, I do feel with the six of the six of wands energy here, there could be some sort of information that delays something. Okay, so if you're moving, there's some you know, some sort of hiccup that that happens that it does feel like an, an obstacle or a challenge uh, a challenge for you. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing spirits say this is an opportunity for you to be creative. So for some of you, baby, this is revolved around your career or a project that you're working on or you're running your own business. There's an opportunity to be creative, but I feel like that creativity is not going to be sparked until you actually sit down and get clarity around what it is that you're experiencing emotionally. Okay. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is, uh, this is energy of just like things sort of, like I said, delayed, then things are moving slow. And if, and I feel like there's just this, there's a, an energy behind your energy of wanting things to get done, wanting things to um, fall into place right away. And it feels like a bit of a challenge that you're challenged. That's what it feels like. Okay. But I do feel whatever this is, is temporary. I, I do feel like it's something that you can get yourself out of. For those of you that are needing professional assistance, that may help you get out of the situation a lot quicker. So whether that is you, you know, turning to a financial advisor, if you're having financial issues, that is turning to a spiritual advisor, a counselor, even going to the doctor, um, seeing a pastor, whatever, whatever is, is going to make you um, get sort of create momentum to move out of this emotional exhaustion. Do what you need to do um, so that you can keep this as a temporary situation and not fall into a deep depression. We don't want that for you here, Scorpio, and I'm sure you don't either because there's so much life to live and you're like, it's almost summertime, so you want to enjoy yourself. <laughs> you want to have a good time. So make sure that you're getting your mind, body, and spirit right. I can't reiterate that enough. Where you're headed this month is the Queen of Wands. All right. So this is great because I feel like, like I said, that in that challenge and obstacle position, it feels like things maybe is a temporary delay or a setback or minor hiccups that come up and some news that sort of puts you in the space. Um, and for some of you, this is residual energy of things that you have currently gone through. But there is a shift in energy here with the Queen of Wands where there is a momentum that you do gain. Again, like I've already said, some of you are going to need the professional assistance or you're working through this on your own, or family and friends are helping you through this, but a level of energy comes through with this Queen of Wands where I feel like you become resourceful and you also become artistic, like that creative block is lifted. So that is where you're headed during the month of July, is building a level of self-confidence. Some of you are also needing to get out into nature as well to reconnect. So I'm um, hearing some of you have lost your practice, and this is an opportunity for you to 
step back into that. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same exact thing that you were doing, but Spirit is wanting you to get back to something so that you can con continue to feed that creative energy that is flowing through you, okay? So you're going to be uh, victorious on whatever this is, but I feel like you have to get into a space where your mind is clear. It feels all about mind, okay? Mind, body, and spirit as well. Um, so getting out in nature and connecting as well. Some of you also need to be surrounded by pets or maybe you had a pet in the past and um, you no longer do. But it seems like pets can bring out um, a side of you that um, is free flowing and innocent and pure. We have the two of wands reversed and then we have the king of wands. So look at that. We have the queen and the king energy. So that lets me know that there is some balance that is coming into your life during this month. Okay. Um, let me feel into this because I'm looking at this two of wands reversed and it almost feels like your energy. But let me make sure this is you. So what has not been clear to you. I'm feeling like this is your energy here, the two of wands. You're embodying this this level of passion, but it feels like something has been, you've been either setting the wrong intentions to get to the goals, or you've been in this place of going back and forth and not sure. You don't have clarity around what it is that you want to do, and things seem a little bit unclear, and then the patience sort of, um, impatience you, in, you develop impatience around something like this and you start making hasty decisions and planning just so that you can get something done. So you're rushing into something. But I feel like this queen and this king energy, a lot of fiery energy here. And like I said, I feel like this is your energy that you're, you're embodying this fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, where the energy comes in, you, you start feeling a little bit more confident um, in something. And there's a charisma, there's a level of leadership, um, good communication skills are coming up for you. But you're being honest about some of the things that you have got that has transpired in your life and you're letting that be. Some of you I'm also feeling could be dealing with, um, some of you are mother and father, okay, or just masculine, feminine, dealing with someone, dealing with... Uh, could be a teenager, could be dealing with someone else. I, I, I don't know. I feel like your your eyes are on something that doesn't seem right. That's what it feels. That's what it feels like as I'm looking at the two of wands in the center. Look how the queen and the king are both looking at the center. Looking at either you're watching someone set wrong intentions or they're not moving forward in life. Or these are your ideas that are, are, sta are stagnant. This is why the mental clarity thing is very important so you can get clear on how you want to move forward. For, so for some of you, this two of wands can be someone else, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or it could even be just your goals that seem a little unclear to you. But I do feel a shift that is coming for you when it comes to where you're headed during this month. What's happening in your near future is the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So some of you, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this right off the bat that that some of you have invested a lot of time and energy into something or into someone, and then now there's an energy of you feeling overly cautious because I feel like it's like a, you're plotting things, trying to be strategic instead of allowing yourself be allowing yourself to be free flowing like you are the water sign of just sort of being chill, going with the flow. I feel like there's a lot of things that you're thinking about, which can also in turn cause some of those delays, setbacks, or just minor hiccups because you're trying to, it's a level of force that I'm feeling, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is usually a slow moving thing. And for some of you, maybe you are feeling sluggish, you're moving towards your goal slowly, you're moving towards someone slowly because there is a little bit of caution, okay, that is coming up. I'm going to clarify this as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But some of you, again, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse talks about work, work a hard, being a workaholic and burnt and burnt out. This is letting me know that you're putting too much energy into something. Okay, like there is an imbalance somewhere. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here? So we have the Knight of Wands reversed and the page of swords it's very interesting because you guys are getting like um 
you guys are getting a lot of knights, pinnacles, and queens. It this it makes me feel like you're moving out of something or at the end of something. All right, so let's let's see what's happening here. <clears throat> Yeah, for some of you, I don't know if there's someone in your life that you're overly cautious about, but there's some insecurities that could be coming up around something, whether this is a person or your goals. I keep going back to goals because goals sound relevant. Yeah, I'm feeling the energy of like it's it has something to do with you making money. Um, so this could be some sort of part partnership. But there's a little bit of a hesitation that comes up for you in your near future that sort of makes you doubt and sort of drops your esteem again. And I don't know if it's because you fall into a little bit of a depression or your um, that energy is sort of just going back and forth. Alexa, turn it down. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's a there's a drag. Okay, we have the look, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands both here in reverse, and this is a dragging energy when it comes to something that you're really passionate about or someone that you're passionate about. To have these both in reverse here is very interesting because the Knight of Pentacles is already slow, but the Knight of Wands is usually an upright, is very like intense. But I do feel like you're either not showing the level of intensity or there is some uncertainty around something that is coming up for you page of swords you're so aquarius energy here there's a uh, aquarius pisces energy here capricorn energy here so this could be energy in your chart someone that you're dealing with someone around you it doesn't matter um i do feel like this page of swords it makes me feel like you're a very witty person. You're very intellectual. And you really are here, Scorpio. Okay, just in general as a as a water sign, if those of you who are have elevated elevated yourself through consciousness and you're doing your part, you're using your intuition, you're just witty at heart. Um you're very clever and very intellectual. Okay, so you can balance your logic as well as your into in, as well as your intuition. Okay. Um but there's something here like if I don't want to say it feels off, it just feels a little bit confusing. And I think that's probably what you may be feeling around something or feeling about someone that there's a little like you can't you're you, you feel something. But then I don't know if someone's showing you something different or things are looking different than what you're feeling. So then you're questioning something. I'm going to pull one more card on this. Actually, let me shuffle because I want to pull one more card on this. Give us a little bit more clarity around the near future. The Wheel of Fortune, and that is crazy because I actually the Wheel of Fortune wanted to pop out, but I actually I accidentally started shuffling before it tried to turn all the way over. So now it's back out again. Um, very interesting. So this is saying there there is some sort of setback. There's something that you may be working against that's trying to flow into your life, and and I and I feel like. <sighs> you're trying to defy fate in some sort of way. So you're trying to make, you're trying to make things happen. Like you're trying to make things happen and it's already happening for you, but you could be forcing up against something. This is why the setbacks are coming up for some of you. This is why, again, I'm going to reiterate Scorpio. It is definitely a good time for you to connect to your divine beings, get into meditation, prayer, whatever it is that gets you in the place of consciousness and connection, because there's something that is trying to unfold for you, but you may be pushing it away. You may be pushing it away, trying to do it your way. Okay. There's also sometimes a little bit of stubbornness that comes with you, Scorpio. I know I'm a Scorpio rising, so I totally get, I totally understand this, but there is some sort of setback and some sort of delay when there can be a new beginning that could be coming for you. But, you, some of you are still sitting in whatever it is trying to end. And remember I said you guys are pulling a lot of uh, page knights, queens, kings, like something is like trying to move out or you're at the end of something. But I feel like there, it feels like there's a delay because you are, you are pushing up against it. Some of you are consciously or even unconsciously pushing up against it because either you don't know what it is or you're trying to hold on to something or you're trying to force it and, and do it your way when uh, I feel like some of you are actually asking for 
you're asking for signs, symbols, answers, but you're not really seeing them. You're not using your intuition because your intuition is very strong, but some of you are not tuning in and hearing because there's too many distractions around you. So therefore, there's going to be some setbacks. So that's what's happening in the near future where it feels like you keep battling, you keep going back to this energy of feeling imbalance. You really have to do, you really have to sit down and, and, and really tune in and tap in during the month of July. Your advice is the temperate reverse. So again, this is saying mind, body, your mind and body are out of balance. Okay, and maybe it's because you want to go do this, but your mind is saying no. Some of you are like, my mind's playing tricks on me. Am I really seeing this? Is this the right thing to do? I'm confused. And you need to get in alignment and sit down in meditation or prayer so that you can get clarity around whatever this is. Okay. Why is the temperance reversed here? We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. And this Ten and Seven um, is 17, which breaks down to an 8. Okay. Again, we, we pulled number 8 here, the Star card. And now we're seeing the number eight again. All right. And the number five is prevalent. Five is about change, conflict. It could be about new beginnings and challenges that may come up for you. But in the midst of challenge and chaos, there is there has to be some sort of change, right? Because you don't want to be in that energy. So it forces you to make a change in some sort of way. All right. So for those of you that are needing some clarity around um a project, a business, career, it definitely feels like if your, if your mind, body, and spirit aren't in it, it may not be for you. That's what I'm hearing. So this is why some of you may be trying to make another plan or you may be trying to force something to work that is maybe it's outdated for you now. Maybe it's a, a business that you have been doing for a very long time and things have just began to change. And you're still trying to do things the same way you were doing it. It may, may be time to change up your model and, or it may be change, time to change industries or, you know, add something new or, you know, whatever this is, it boils down to you getting a level of creativity to keep something going. Because I do feel like you're trying to build something, whether you're building the business, um, you're trying to build your career, build your money. You are also building a relationship, but you some of you are want to, want to build a family as well. But it feels like you're out of balance in a way and you need to get in alignment with that vision. Because there are a lot of things that are that are that are happening. The seven of cups is saying there are a lot of things. This could be a lot of opportunities or a lot of distractions that are keeping you in this place of um, confusion. I'm even hearing some of you conformity. So some of you are thinking you're supposed to do something because this it worked before or your parents did it or people were, you know, it's kind of like that thing where people are like, you're so talented, you should do this. You're like, well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm feeling that energy for some of you. Like you're like, you feel like you have to conform because people think, oh, you do, you, you do a great job at this or you have this talent or this skill, then maybe you should do that. Okay. This is why you need to tune in with yourself. Okay, because there's a lot of distractions going on for you. Some of you relationships, this is relationships, money, money on the mind, relationships on the mind, a person's on the mind, sex is on the mind. Everything is going on for you right now here, Scorpio. And spirit is wanting you to take a step back in order for you, in order to create. Okay, so that is your advice. Your final outcome for the month of July is the Five of Swords, and again. That's what I'm saying. The number five has been here a couple times already. Um, it's We have the five of pentacles. Now we have the five of swords. And then we have the number 14 that breaks down to a five, which uh, I don't remember. Oh, the temperance, the temperance reverse. So some of you are seeing the number five, five, five. You can look that up. Let, let us know in the comment section below what that means to you, what is five, five, five means. But we know that that means change. That means change. And for some of you, uh, it also means that you're also on the right track and it feels uncomfortable and it feels like you keep getting set back. But there are lessons and lessons in the setbacks. There's lessons in the change to get you to the next level. So it definitely feels like you're either battling people or battling yourself. 
that you're battling again, forcing something to happen, trying to make things happen. And, and I feel like some of you may have even experienced some sort of betrayal or failure in the midst of all of this going on. So there's been some loss, some, some frustration that has come up. And I feel like some of you wanted to want to just give up. But I do feel like you're still fighting for something. And this makes me this gives me clarity around you are forcing something. Okay. Whether you think that you're fighting for it, you I feel like you might be forcing something because you're out of balance here, Scorpio. Why is the five of swords here? We have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. And you guys are getting a lot of um, pinnacles and wands. But I'm seeing wands that are coming up a lot. Okay, so nine and four. All right, so yeah, this is definitely, some of you are definitely forcing something to work with someone possibly. Or like I said, this boils down to your career, your goals. But you could be forcing something to work with with something, with someone. So there may have been, like I said, people may have turned their backs on you, may have betrayed you in some sort of way, treated you unfair, or you had some sort of unfair un, um, advantage. And there's caused some conflict in your relationships or whatever this is that you are working on. There's, again, the imbalance that is coming up where you're trying to defend it, you're trying to force it, or you're guarded in some sort of way, and it's just causing a an emotional exhaustion, which we discussed earlier when we pulled that Queen of Cups in reverse. This is sending some of you into a, a depression and um, a sadness and a moodiness, the mood swings that are happening, and that creative block is coming up for you because I feel like you keep putting in, putting into something, and like I said, forcing something, pushing something, trying to wait for something to change, and you, what you really need to do is sort of get with yourself, okay? So this could be around your marriage, your family. This is around your home life in general, career. It doesn't matter how it shows up for you. But balance is key. Look at the Four of Wands is coming out again, and it's talking about balance. So whatever this is that you have been forcing, pushing up against, it's time for you to get right. It's time for you to get it right. And I'm, I'm this this Four of Wands is like settled down. And this this reminds me of like, Meditation, journaling, prayer, getting, tapping in, okay, settling down because something is definitely out of balance, okay. I wish I could have, you know, made this a little bit more exciting and um, fun for you, Scorpio, but I have to be true to what I'm channeling. And um, it definitely feels like a, a hard time that some of you may be experiencing right now. But I do feel that this is temporary for you. Okay, so keep that in mind that you are going to be making it to the end of the tunnel very soon. It, seem, it seems like you're very close. It's just a matter of you getting the clarity that you need for yourself. Okay, this is just letting you know you're going to get your clarity when you sit with self. Okay, so that is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this, comment below if it resonates. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy the month of July, and I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light to you guys. Peace.